There have been some rumors floating around the building. Um, I just want you to know that personally, I don't believe them at all. All right. Um, thanks. What kind of rumors? It's crazy talk about you bringing in over a hundred HD channels. That's actually true. <laughs> it's true. Can I have my hand? Oh yeah. Move over, Cable. Verizon FiOS is here with over 100 HD channels coming soon. This is FiOS. This is big. Well, all eyes, of course, on the vice presidential debate tonight, and fair or not, Governor Palin's become more than just a candidate. She's a full-fledged cultural phenomenon. Patrick Gavin's one half of the Washington Examiner yays and nays column. He's live at the Examiner. Patrick, some of the stuff you're talking about tonight is just plain weird, including a polling question I would never have thought of. Would you want Sarah Palin as your mom. That's right. There's a group called the Shop the Vote, which is aimed towards younger teenagers. And they ask teenagers to vote by their cell phone. Would you want Sarah Palin to be your mom? And unfortunately, the results weren't so flattering for her. 83% said no. Uh, and speaking of numbers, uh, online bettors right now put the odds at 3 to 1 as Sarah Palin being the underdog tonight. So she certainly uh, could benefit from, uh, from low expectations, but people, I think, at least online, are betting against her. You know, well, you're not exactly going out on a limb suggesting that she's an underdog here, but what about Joe Biden? I mean, we're getting Palin all the attention here, even though some of it may not be exactly what, what she's looking for. Yeah, he, uh, he's not going to have an easy road to toe tonight either. He needs to walk a fine line between uh, making his case and speaking against Sarah Palin without coming off as condescending, without getting women upset that he was talking down to her, uh, and also without talking too long, which has always been his Achilles heel throughout his career. So he's not going to exactly have, uh, he's got his work cut out for him as well. And speaking of attention you may not want to have, you've got a story on a so-called gentleman's club in Memphis taking note of Governor Palin's history-making quest in its own very unique way. Yeah, it's a gentleman's club down in Memphis, and they had a Sarah Palin look-alike contest, as you can imagine what that means. And they got about 20 people coming in and strutting their stuff, claiming to look like Sarah Palin. Uh, and, you know, but the, but the owner of the club said, look, it's, this isn't sexist. This isn't me being against Sarah Palin. He's like, look, I'd have a Joe Biden night if anybody would actually bother coming to that. But and, 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 that might not be as attractive. And, you know, that is a point. Patrick Gavin, live from The Examiner. Thank you, sir. We appreciate your insights. Always fun talking with you.